my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup look for Christmas in those Christmas parks and I'm going to be doing a little Q&A. So I'm going to be answering some of the questions you have provided me with over the weeks and I was going to answer them for you while I'm doing the makeup look. So I hope you enjoy guys and let's get started. So guys this is me plain Jane as you've already probably seen before in my previous makeup vlogs. Um, I've kind of handled it, uh, put the camera handle a little bit different this time because last time I felt that the back of my head was showing quite a lot. So I've got one of these little mirrors from Primark and I've put my camera handle a little bit better so you can see exactly what I'm doing with the makeup. So um, like I've just said I'm going to be doing um, a few questions what um, you want me to answer and going to be doing my makeup at the same time. So let's get started. So like everything I'm always going to link it below of where I got it from just in case you want to purchase it yourself. There's a few different products what I'm going to be using this time purely because it's coming into the winter season and if I was going to a Disney park in the winter I would use slightly different products because um, it's not so hot so I'm not going to be sweating uh, so I can, I can use my everyday makeup um, regime and products. So the first thing I'm going to be using is the Kat Von D for the concealer. My camera is playing games today and it's not wanting to focus. Yep, I'm focused now. So let's put this Kat Von D on. I always put it around my eyes. And that. So the first question is, and I did put it on my Instagram about just having... Uh, Christmas kind of Disney uh, questions uh, for Christmas season to go with the makeup look but it turned into more of a personal kind of questions <laughs> and people wanted to know more about my personal life than actual Disney and what Disney like what is Disney like at Christmas and stuff like that which was okay that's fine I can definitely do that but I was just really surprised that people wanted to know about uh, my life really <laughs> so um, the first question was where did me and Steph meet Steph is my husband if you don't know he um, we actually met at college and I know what you're going to say, we are uh, teenage um, sweethearts or high school uh, sweethearts or whatever you want to call it, but no, we are not far from it. We met at college like I've just said and that was it. No romance or anything like that, we just met. And oh my god, I look really white on camera at the moment. Uh, we was doing catering and hospitality. Um, we were doing catering and hospitality. Um, we both knew we liked each other, but we both had partners. Um, we thought they was the love of our life, as you do when you're in college and you're in love. Um, but yes and then we both finished college two years later and we lost, lost contact and um, we went our separate ways um, and then I had my little boy uh, with somebody else and life got in the way and then that was it and then five years later I think it was yes I think it was about five years later we actually bumped into each other and we had a good old chin wag as you do really connected but yet again nothing happened we went our separate ways and that was the end of it um but then i split up with the partner who i had my little boy with and i was single for a long time and then he come to be single um and then we was just talking on social media so on facebook um and it was quick as he says do you want to meet up i says uh, why don't you come to mine for a drink uh, i've got my little boy we could play some games because uh, i knew he's is really friendly like that and he would love to come and uh, play games and stuff like that 
so that's what he did that day he came to my house and the rest is history that is how quick it happened um i've been with him now nine years in two days and so at the time you watch this it will be nine years we've been together and we've been married for six years so yes it is pretty quick how that happened to be honest um, and then the day after we got married I got pregnant with the twin girls so <laughs> yes it was all pretty fast but to be fair, me and Steph was together for four years before we got married and then I got pregnant with my twins so I suppose it wasn't so fast but I like to take things super, super slow and if four years is not slow enough then oh well. <laughs> so I'm just putting my uh, foundation on, I don't think it's going to focus but it is just the uh, but it's just the max I don't, oh, don't, oh, it's not even going to focus for me but i'll put a little tab here what is actually called in full for you um this is shade 40 so it is quite light but i'm very light skinned anyway uh, and this and my ring light is making me look very very pale indeed but trust me it's not as pale as what the ring light is making it out to be let me see if i can just my camera slightly oh, wait a minute uh, so i've adjusted my ring light but i'm still pretty white but trust me guys the foundation is not as light as what my ring light is showing uh later on you'll kind of figure that one out it's not so the next thing i'm going to put is just some face powder on this is really, really cheap and cheerful. And yet again, I'll put a little tab of what it's actually called. But this one is just from Savers. I think it cost me around about two, three pound. So it didn't cost a lot at all. So the next question is, and I'd, people can find it cheeky. I didn't really find it cheeky, to be honest, purely because I've had it before. And um, I suppose yeah so the next question was how can you have three children if you are only young yourself which to me i was like so does people think i'm young do i look young and the the answer i've got to that is i'm 31 years old and i had my son when i was 17 years old um completely unplanned as you probably would imagine at 17 years old and getting pregnant with your first child but to be honest i wouldn't change it for the world to be honest just purely because um i always wanted children when i was young anyway i really wanted to be fit and active and be able to do lots of stuff purely because when my mum had me she was uh, 39 coming up to 40 and now i am 31 my mum is 70 and my dad has died and he was 84 84 he was so i always think to myself yeah you don't know when your parents are going to die but you don't want them to die from old age when you're really young so that is one of the reasons where i decided to have my children young but kieran my oldest he wasn't planned i had him at 17 i got with the love of my life yeah <laughs> and um we just decided that we was going to have him it wasn't really um i didn't have to think about it i knew i was going to have him as soon as i got pregnant there was no doubt of me that i was going to have an abortion at all i was going to have him and he was going to be my everything and he is he is in a way he's grew up with me i was young and all through my 20s i was still like a child and he he grew me up and i wouldn't change him for the world and he's my one and only so yes i am 31 and i do have three children um i had my twins when i was I think I was 25 
So there was seven years difference from when I had my first child to when I had my twins. So yes, that was the um, overall is why I'm young with three children. <laughs> um, but I was surprised when someone said that because I was like, do I really look young with three children? I suppose I should keep that... Um, have that as a compliment really <laughs> so yes that is that question so the next thing i'm going to be doing is my eyes and because we're going to be doing a christmas look i want to make it quite neutral but quite sparkly at the same time just because it's christmas so let me get my sparkly head on okay guys so i'm gonna go for a very very light pink and it's a revolution palette i will link it below and i'm gonna be going for this just here it's a very very light shade of pink uh more of a dusty kind of pink probably what suits my top really but maybe a little bit lighter than that so that's what we're going to be using today and I've just got my Revolution um, little brush here to actually do the job. And I don't think my camera is playing with me today, to be honest. It is doing a lot of unfocusing, which I'm not happy about. So let's get this on. So the next question I got, and it's probably, it's quite a common question, I suppose, for small YouTubers, is why did you start your YouTube channel? Wow, there was a number of reasons really, but the main reason was is to kind of keep me busy, trying to achieve something, and just striving for more really. Uh, through lockdown, I had no intentions of making a YouTube channel at all. But I just knew that I enjoyed watching Disney YouTube channels. Um, I'd spend hours, literally, and I still do, spend hours just scrolling down YouTube, uh, trying to find uh, new YouTubers what um, are doing uh, Disney content or content what I do now. Um, yeah, and I just absolutely love it. And I got inspired by a few YouTubers. Um, and I was just like, I really, really would love to do that myself. Um, I'd love to be able to one day be monetized and make a little bit of money out of it. Uh, but do it, making money by doing something I love. So I thought I'd give it a go. And here I am now. I've been on YouTube... Oh, I think it's coming up to nine months now, something like that. And I've really, really enjoyed it, to be honest. It's been incredible. The support I've had from all of you guys just by watching this right now is a massive, massive support. You don't know how much you actually help me by doing this. And I'm hoping this time next year i'll be monetized i'll be able to earn a little bit of money not a lot but even if it was just 20 pound a month i'm earning something from doing something i love and that has got to be something what you've got to be proud of that you've achieved something out of nothing really because my youtube channel started with no views no likes, no comments, no subscribers or anything. So being where I am now is achievement on its own. So the next comment is, and I've probably already answered it to be honest, is where do I want to be a year from now? So a year from now, I want to be um, monetized on YouTube, um, like probably most um, YouTubers, small YouTubers anyway. But the most thing, if I'm not monetized, is having more viewers. So I would love to build a community where I just want to meet new people and get them to enjoy my channel and so I can entertain them and so, so much more. So that is my goal, I think, for the next year or so. So the next comment I got where 
I was a little bit like, oh, I didn't know most people knew about this just because I've only mentioned it a few times in a few of my vlogs actually. And uh, they want to know is how is Sophia and does she have to have uh, more operations? Uh, if some of you don't know, uh, one of my twins, Sophia, has a very, very rare heart condition. It's a one of it's it's a condition where it will never be cured. She will always have it. She'll always struggle with it. But she but she'll always be able to kind of like hopefully live a normal ish life. Uh, to say she a heart condition is called uh, HRHS um, which is a rare heart defect where one of one of the side of her hearts didn't form uh, correctly so when she was born at four days old she had to have a major surgery um, on her heart to basically keep her alive um, when she was four days old, she went extremely blue. Um, she basically her arc le uh, oxygen levels uh, went seriously low. But we did know about the condition when I was twenty weeks pregnant, uh, which literally destroyed me in two. To be honest, um, they couldn't tell me if she was going to survive. They couldn't tell me if she was actually going to survive uh, inside the wound. Um, they did say to me if she dies, then I would have to um, give birth to both of the babies whenever she died. So if she died at 22 weeks, I would have to give birth at 22 weeks. And they would be a hope that my other twin would survive. Uh, but there was no guarantees um i asked them when i was pregnant do you think she's gonna die in my womb and they couldn't tell me if she would die in my womb so i had another 20 weeks of terrified i was absolutely terrified that she was gonna die in my womb um but she didn't and she, she stayed in there until i was 38 and a half weeks and that was only because they um, planned a C-section or she was going to stay there for the long haul. <laughs> um, so yes, after they were born, they were both perfectly healthy and then four days later, Sophia went blue and she ended up having to have a serious operation to correct, well not correct, but try and help her with her oxygen levels. Um, but there was no guarantee that that would work and then when she did have her operation she was in um, PICU which is a special care unit in hospital um, and she was there for five weeks uh, we nearly lost her um, on a few occasions um, we was put to one side saying that she is struggling and she's very very poorly and she may die um, and it was absolutely awful for the whole five weeks. We was just waiting basically by her side for five weeks to see if she would survive basically. Um, but oh my God, she, she literally surprised the specialist. She surprised us. She, within a week, um, the last week we was in hospital with her, she turned a corner, literally. From Monday being in critical condition to Sunday being in a normal ward, being discharged. That's how quick that process was. So we had a good solid four weeks of her nearly dying to having to prepare ourselves for losing her to then from literally critical to going home that is how quick it happened um, she has to now have um, regular checkups to see if she's okay um, to see how her oxygen levels are doing how her heart is performing um, and she has regular regular checkups for that and she also has um, an upcoming operation to kind of improve on what she's already improved on if you 
understand where I'm coming from. So, but that's not going to be it purely because uh, she's still doing so well. Um, the specialist is basically saying what's not broke don't fix so she is doing really really well she's now five years old um, she can't like she can't keep up with her sister so if her sister's running around and having fun Sophia has to really take it easy or she'll start going blue on her lips her oxygen levels will go low so she'll struggle really bad to breathe um, so but that is the situation we're in now. Uh, anything can change at any time. Uh, but we are so grateful that she is with us. And yeah, we're just really, really grateful. So I've done the colours on my eyes. So I put the light pink one. I've put the dark one, which is more of a shade of my jumper today. And I've put the most minute of the dark red. Just to have the dark corners which i really really like so that's from revolution i will link it below so you can purchase that one if you want to so now i'm just going to put a little bit of glitter because it's christmas we need glitter so this one i've had for the longest time literally and it's just like a little um gold kind of glitter this was from primark and it's all it's got a little like oh is it gonna come up it's not playing with me today this camera isn't but it's got like a little brushy tip on it and you can literally just brush it over your eyes and it'll just give it that little bit of glitter so let's do that one okay guys so as you can see i've put it on i don't know if the camera's bringing it up very well but it has got that beautiful kind of shimmery glittery effect with that slight pink coming through so that one yet again because this is from primark i can't really link it below um but this is just from primark uk um i think they still got it in because now it's the christmas season i definitely think they're gonna have that in now the next thing i'm gonna be using is my liquid eyeliner to do the line for my false eyelashes this one i have actually um showed you before i swear by it literally and literally just put it over the top of your eyes make a nice line um, and then you can put your eyelashes on so let's do that one okay so that's the first one i've done so the next question i've got is how many lounge flies do i actually own wow um this one i think i've got only around about 20. i have actually got rid of quite a lot recently um just because i needed to free up some space because i've moved house um and keeping lounge flies they do take a lot of space up so i did get rid of quite a lot not my grail ones obviously because they're my grails and i absolutely love them so i didn't get rid of them uh but i did get rid of the ones where i i knew i wasn't going to use i was just keeping them for no reason at all so i got rid of some so i think i've got around about 20 now um but when i do reach a thousand subscribers i'm going to be redoing my um office so my vlogging area i'm going to be redoing it so i might have to get rid of a few more to do that um but for now i've got 20 um i love collecting them uh, but i'll only collect the ones i really like which i know some collectors will just collect them because it's a new lounge fly but i don't do that i'll only collect the ones i really like personally so yes that's what i do okay so that is the eyeliner on now i'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on um, it's nothing special. I got this one from Asda. Um, I'll link it below uh, of the full name of it for you. 
uh, but it's just literally so I can get my eyelashes to come to be black because uh, they are quite light in themselves so for me to put my eyelashes on I've got to have a little bit of tint in my uh, my own lashes so that's what I do so the so the next question I got is what other Disney content have you got planned for the upcoming year and have you got any more Christmas vlogs planned? Well, Christmas vlogs, I've got quite a lot um, upcoming for the Christmas season. So like for this one, I've got the um, makeup one. Uh, I'm going to be doing a makeup I'm going to be doing a Christmas look for the parks. Uh, so that's coming for the uh, next couple of days. Uh, some more um, lounge fly um, ones I'm going to be putting up as well. Um, I've literally just put the decorate with me one on my channel as well. So if you've not seen that, um, go and check that one out guys. Because I had some really, really good feedback on that one. Um, I've also got, what else have I got coming? I'm not actually going out on any kind of Christmas events this year just because of COVID and everything being closed and all of that. So I've not been able to book anything or I would have done Vlogmas. A lot of people have done Vlogmas this year um, and they've kind of like pre-recorded them Um so when they did do uh, go out on events and stuff like that. But I didn't do that because I wanted to um, show them as I did them kind of thing. So I didn't do that. So my Vlogmas would be literally what I'm doing each day. Um, which is nothing at the moment to be honest. Just because of Covid and yeah. So that is pretty much why I didn't do... Um, vlogmas but i have got plenty of christmas vlogs coming up for you guys um and then in the new year well i've not planned it out yet so i don't have a clue what i'm going to be doing in the new year but i'm sure i've got lots and lots planned i've got a few disney vacations uh coming up next year so hopefully we can go on them and covid doesn't stop us um so i'm going to be having lots of um disneyland vlogs uh coming up um so yeah there's plenty plenty planned um but i've just not sat down and written it all down yet which i probably won't do that till the new year um, and probably later on into the new year just because of covid and we just don't know the predicament of what's actually going to be happening so the eyelashes I'm putting on at the moment, I will put a link below. Um, you've seen them many a time if you do watch my vlogs, but it comes in a little kind of like case like this. And the eyelashes are really, really simple to put on as I've just showed you. And once you've put your main uh, eyeliner on, then these go on a dream. So they literally pop on like so like that how quick and simple was that so i'm just going to put some more mascara on the bottom eyelashes so they look a little bit more with it okay guys so that is the initial makeup done now i'm going to be thinking about the lips so what i'm going to do for the lips hello so now I'm going to be doing a real, I don't know if you can see that because my camera is not playing games. So this one is just a dark red uh, lip liner. Because as you can see, I've got literally no lips at all. So I have to give them a little bit of oomph. So I'm going to do a little line. Like so. Oh, I do look a bit weird, don't I? And then I'm going to put more of a pinky, lippy kind of vibe. So now I'm going to 
put a lip gloss on which is from revolution um it's quite a very rich kind of pinky uh color i'm literally just gonna blend it in to the lip liner so it doesn't look too horrendous like so Ooh. <laughs> so that is the lips now i'm just going to give me myself a little bit of um i don't know cheekbones because i've literally got none of them so i'm going to book up mm -hmm. like so I like to think it um, thins out my face. <laughs> I don't know how that works to be honest, but yeah. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna do a little bit at the top, at the sides, down the nose. Like so. Okay, so I'm just going to take the horrendous uh, ring light off so you can actually see what I look like. Okay, guys, so this is the finished result. As you can see, I've got some... I love the eyes on the... Um, those different colours just really, really go. And then that really, really rich red really, really sets it off, if you ask me. Christmas is all about the red vibes for me. So red is all the way. But keeping it quite neutral on the eye. Uh, but really festive. And got that beautiful sparkle in it as well, which I absolutely love. Um, I don't think the camera is bringing my face justice when it comes to the light. Uh, I've took the ring light off, but I'm right under a light here in my kitchen. Uh, but it is darker than what my actual camera is bringing it out to be. But this is my normal kind of makeup um, I would use in everyday kind of occurrence kind of thing. I will link as much as I can of the makeup below. Um, but when it comes to the foundation um, and it comes to the concealer and the lipstick, uh, the lipstick is not mask proof. So if you are looking for something where your makeup will last, um, I haven't kind of figured anything out yet for a mask protector really. Uh, but this is really, really nice, really rich. And like I said, it's from Revolution. Uh, foundation is really good uh, for Disney parks. It does last and it's really, really good quality. Uh, but I will try and link as much as I can below for you. So you can check them out for yourself. So guys, everything I've got for you today. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And I really, really hope you liked those couple of questions I answered as well i only got through i think it's like three or four questions just because i didn't want to make this vlog super super long for you because i know that you want me to do the makeup as well uh, so i just thought i'd do a few q a questions so you can kind of get to know me a bit more and just asking your questions in general um i am going to do another q a video for you so if that's something you're really interested in please leave me a little comment below um some questions if there's any questions you want to know then leave them below and i'll keep them in my head ready for the next q a but for now that's it and i hope to see you in my next one thank you guys mm -hmm.